Hey, everybody. Hey, Steve. Today is the day I finally received my CWCVT tool. Uh, this is the tool that's going to replace or be an alternative to the map gateway with Johnson Controls. So I just took it out of the box. This thing is super tiny. The length of this guy is the width of a th the thermostat. It's like a, about a stick of gum size. So uh, I have not hooked power up to it yet. I just took it out of the box. In the box you get this tool. Of course you get the oh, the wire for it. And then you get uh, a document uh, this document right here is the quick start guide. So brief overview of quick start guide. Uh, I looked on the back and I, I, I'm honestly a little disappointed. I uh, went down to the Wi-Fi specs and it's um, BGN uh, 2.4 gig. So it's not on the AC yet. It's still not Wi-Fi 6. Um, it's a brand new device coming out and it's not wi-fi 6 i don't know what johnson is thinking about that but it does have the bluetooth here so um as long as we can connect bluetooth we should be good so and it gives you some information on how to connect it what to do so let's start by connecting this guy up i'm gonna take it out of the case i already got a controller going uh, it does have the uh, RJ11, right? That's where we plug that guy in. It's got two buttons, an A on the front and a B on the side. On this side, it has USB-C, and it looks like a space for a micro SD card. There's no SD card in there, but there's a space for the SD card. And on the back... It says in the line termination. We have an off on uh, switch there. So that's interesting. It comes off. I'm going to keep it off. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So it's got an LCD display on it. And it's telling me right now MSTP is live and it's in Bluetooth mode non-connected so let's see on my computer here let's see if we can find a bluetooth oh, there it is it's this guy right here Enter the pin for this guy. Um, I don't have pin. I don't see it. It's not in the steps anywhere where the pin is. So let's just see. What the pin would be. CWCVT. Let's just try that guy. So I am getting a connection over here. It's connecting. I have a little heartbeat. So let me just go and see. Peter doesn't want to do three things at once here, so that's always uh, fun. It's still trying to enter the pin. There is no pin on this guy whatsoever. Oh, here we go. 
uh, I hit uh, the B button here and it gave me a pin. So the pin is on the display itself. There we go. And I got to that pin just by hitting that A button. So let's try connecting again. Let me try connecting this guy one more time. Five one three seven nine four. Connect. There we go. Good to go. All right. So if it's anything like the old. Bluetooth. We need to know what port it's on. And that's going to be found under Device Manager, Ports. Uh, look at that. Okay, so I got Bluetooth ports 3 through 8, it looks like. So I get the lovely option of trying to figure out which port it's under. So let's uh, open up CCT and see if I can't get any luck. There we go. Commission. We want Bluetooth. Let's check with port 3 first. And see if we get lucky. Okay, three didn't work. Let's try four. Come down here. Go to Bluetooth. Make sure we're still here. We're paired. Uh, so we should be talking. Four didn't work. Let's try five. Doesn't look like five is gonna work. Let's go to six. Seven. And eight. Oh, well, that doesn't look like it's going to work. Let's go over to the documentation. See what we got going on here. Selecting the wireless communication room BLE router mode for use with the app. Wi-Fi app mode for use with John's controls Wi-Fi tool. So according to this documentation, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to use Bluetooth from the computer. Only through the app. Well, that's lovely. So I'm supposed to press and hold the B button until the required mode is displayed. Okay. And then press the B button. Okay, so it's doing a little restart here. So now we're in Wi-Fi settings. So now I need to go and connect to this guy via Wi-Fi. 
Let me jump on my Wi-Fi here. There we go. Connect automatically. Network security key. Looks like I can get that by pressing the A button on this little screen. And I got my glasses on to see what's going on here. And... Looks like it's uppercase, lowercase. If that worked. Alphanumeric, uppercase, lowercase. Doesn't appear to have any symbols, not in this one at least. Now I'm seeing if I could connect to it. I am connected. Let's see. All right. So let's just check and see if this guy has a GUI. Um, like the old map gateway. Does not appear to have a GUI. Okay, so you need that app to get into GUI stuff. So let's just see if it works with CCT. It says to use the default map gateway settings. Uh, this is going to be my Wi Fi. Connecting. The screen did change. It says I am connected via Wi Fi to it. And nothing is pulling up. That's lovely. Not pulling up. Okay, hold on. This is my test bench here, so bear with me. Gonna make sure that I don't have anything interfering with this guy. Let me just, I'm gonna plug this directly in to the controller. That way. Wow, I plugged it in, I mean, and like instantly uh, it came up. So that's, that's a good sign. I just have to reconnect to it. So it does not have that very long startup time like the map gateway did. Let's see if it'll reconnect. Not sure if it reset the password for the SSD or not. No, it appears to be the same password. Okay, I am connected. So now let me do another discovery. Actually, let me just start over. Okay, so that, that, that. Next. So going through little settings on the sky. Okay, it did find it. There it is. Boom. I am in. Um, going through little buttons, little display. We do. I'm going to try to hold it as still as possible. 
it does show me a uh, token loop time, uh, the number of devices, and frame error. So it does give me a little bit of information on this guy. I mean, I'm assuming we could probably plug this in to a stat or to a trunk and at least get the number of devices on the trunk. Um, that's pretty cool. And that's just be done by hitting that A button at the top. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in the Bluetooth not working for the computer. I'm going to do some research on that and make sure that I didn't do something wrong. Uh, but the document is telling me that it only works for um, the app. So I'm talking to the controller now. So everything is good. Again, I could have had some connection issues with my, my stat. So let's not blame Johnson on that one. So I'm going to configure that. Let's go back and look at this document again. Um... Yeah, a little disappointed with that. So the app, <laughs> let me tell you about the app. Uh, the app isn't out for regular folk yet. So it is, you can look up this lit number right here, and it talks about the app. And we go up here to the top. And it gives us all the great information. It's going to be on Android. It's going to be on iOS. I have on iOS. So I went to search the app and I couldn't find it. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, it says to search for connected workflow applications. And then you read down here in the login. It's you're required to have a pre existing Johnson Controls user, your global ID. So that's the branch ID. So you got to work for the branch to be able to log into the app right now. So the app isn't available for regular folks right now and even shows branch controllers and stuff like that. So it says that third party support. Uh, is expected uh, till the end of uh, fourth quarter 2003, basically, right? So we're looking at December, November, December time before we get access to the app from what it's telling me here. Again, go and read this yourself. This is the lit number right here. See what you think. All you have to do is Google that lit number, and you get access to this. You don't. It doesn't take anything special. Uh, overall, I, I like that it's a super fast connection. But again, the the downside is it's still a, a lower speed Wi-Fi. I think we're still going to have connection issues like we had with the Map Gateway. I would still urge people to go ahead and buy that Wi-Fi adapter uh, so you can have the Wi-Fi connection here and still have uh, internet connection somewhere else. Uh, this Bluetooth needs to work with the computer. Um, again, I'll do some research. I'll update you. Uh, check for the comments on this video. Thanks for watching.